Good morning, everyone. It's Kevin, the homemaker husband. Uh, it's been a couple weeks, really, since I even did a video. And uh, I guess there's been a lot going on. I have been working a lot working every minute that I possibly can. I mean, that's, and that's not big compared to what some people work, but I've been getting 55, 60 hours a week for the last month, really. Um, last weekend, we were really busy, and I just didn't make a video. Today is August the 20th. It is now 10.29, 10.30, Saturday morning, and I've already run a couple of errands. I went out, Michelle, as you know, she does 95% uh, or 98% of our grocery shopping. She does it online, and I just go pick the stuff up and take care of it after that. I went to two different stores today, and I'm going to show you the stuff that we got. Uh, it's not going to be all that's in this video, but I'm going to show you what we got. Some of it is for our immediate consumption. Some of it is for our storeroom. And you know what? I think i got to make a couple little changes to my storage system here this morning. And I think when I get that done, I might uh, include a bit of that. So, without rambling too awfully much, I'm going to get right at it and I'll show you what we got. So stay tuned. So I'm going to start right here. Uh, these things are frozen, so when I get done this little part, I'm going to stop and put these in the freezer. They're frozen now, and I want them to stay frozen. So we got four of these hot beef and bean burritos. These are very good. They're a quick lunch. When you're in a hurry and just want to grab something, so you just take it out of the freezer, pop it in the microwave for uh, nearly a couple of minutes, and they're good to go. So there's four hot beef and bean, and then there's four mild beef and bean. I like the hot stuff. Michelle likes the more mild. She uh, found herself a block of the lactose-free old cheddar. All we can get at Walmart is marble, and she does like old cheddar, so she found it, she bought it. I'm actually going to put that in the freezer, though, right now, for whenever she decides she wants to use it. Now, I want to show you this. Look at this can. This is something that I would never have picked up myself, and I'm a bit surprised that whoever picked this order threw it in for us, so that one's pretty much a write-off. But uh, mushroom soup, cream of mushroom, and we use it in many recipes. We actually made a dish last week um, that Michelle created, which I will do a video on sometime. Turned out extremely well, and it used a can of cream of mushroom soup. So we actually had got three, but as you can see, one of them is destroyed. And these are for the pantry shelf, for the store. But we've decided like when we use one, we'll buy a replacement and get an extra in most cases. Some things we'll just replace, but with this, we're trying to build a few up. Canned goods last quite a while, so we are not scared to have a few. Got two cans of chicken noodle soup here, two cans of vegetable soup, one of my childhood favorites, and six cans of tomato soup. Now, one of these had a little tiny ding in the bottom rim of a can, right down there, but it's a very minor thing, but we will use it first. Uh, she found another little bottle of this, ketchup this size. The reason we get these is it's easier for Michelle to handle and manipulate rather than the big heavy can and uh, we just replace the bottle every once in a while. And I haven't been able to find this size at Walmart for some time now, so the Superstore, obviously, is what we, in this part of the world, call the store where these things came from. Had it in stock, so Michelle got one. And it is basically to replace the one that we have in the fridge right now. They just get a little, a little mangy, right? So, got four cans of pinto beans. 
Michelle says these are her favorite and they're basically for the store. Even the soups are for the store as well. Now this uh, cashew milk is obviously for immediate consumption. So that goes in the fridge. Um, I froze it before and it doesn't work very well. It kind of separates when it thaws out, right? And shaking it up doesn't seem to mix it up unless maybe you have a paint shaker, but we don't. These little chickens now are regularly 15 bucks a piece. She found them for 703 and 709 consecutively. So I'm going to vacuum seal these and get them in the freezer. We've got, I think, three, maybe four in the freezer now. So they're kind of stock. So that's that for that. Uh, I've got more, but I'm going to put those things away and then I will carry on. So stay tuned. Okay, so that didn't take very long at all. But, so I'll just carry on and show you the rest of the stuff. We have been having real trouble getting potatoes. Now I realize the potatoes that we've been eating up until now have been last fall's potatoes. So the new potatoes will be coming out and they are out now. I could go get some. But bag potatoes have been full of blight. I don't know whether that's what it actually was, was blight, but there's spots and they're just really quite gross. But we found, these are terribly expensive. I think they're three dollars, maybe even four for three potatoes, but they're, uh, they're good potatoes. So for all the potatoes we're eating right now, these will do. We got two packages of these. They're for like immediate consumption. And we got two of these. These are like a mini, mini chocolate chip, but they're vegan. They don't have any dairy in them. There's nothing in them that bothers Michelle's allergies. Uh, so she got two packages of them. They're going on the baking shelf, which is part of the store. Like, so I, I will show you that later. Got to do a little finagling with it, but these are for the for the store or for the pantry. I mean, if she decided this weekend that we were going to make something using this, we would. But basically, they're for inventory. We got uh, she got one box of these. Everything that we see here, everything that I've showed you, has been sale items. I think, except the potatoes um, and whatnot. So yeah. Either sale items or the prices are just good. So she got a box of this. We both love this. And quite often Saturday at lunchtime when you're looking for a quick meal, soup and sandwich is the way to go. So this is going in the store, but we will use it whenever we decide to. She found a spice cake. She said she'd been looking for one. She got it today. So this will be going on the shelf. And as I said, it's store but you know what I mean she found as well as the four cans of pinto beans she found two bags or she got two bags 900 gram bags so basically pretty close to two pound bag one pound is 454 grams so anyway almost two pounds of dry pinto beans and like they will last for a long long time they're kept dry right so they will be kept dry these are for the store she got cornmeal in two kilogram bags so that's 4.4 pounds if you do pounds and uh these were less than four dollars a bag so that's an incredibly good price and once again this stuff is dry as long as it's kept dry and and whatnot will last for a long time but I have a smaller bag the next time we make a cornbread or anything like that we make a Mexican corn cornmeal casserole or cornbread casserole that is to die for I think we've made videos before of it but it is very good so uh, for the store she got two milk chocolate bars and basically for the store as you know I'm watching what I eat 
So I'm not eating any chocolate right now. I don't want to awaken that beast. But anyway, we got uh, two peppers. Now the prices of peppers have come down uh, quite a little bit. I'm not sure if they're going to stay down for very long. I'm not confident that they will. But obviously these aren't for the store. These are for immediate consumption or whenever. Um, I think we're going to make spaghetti for the week. And uh, I'll definitely be using one of them to make spaghetti. And lemon. She got a lemon. I'm not sure what she has in mind for that, but I know she said the price has come down on that as well. And uh, this is a lot better looking one than the last one we bought, so it should be good. There'll be lots of, lots of zest on there if she decides she wants to make something and use the lemon zest, so it's a nice lemon. She got uh, two more bottles of her shampoo for the store. Got two more tubes of the toothpaste that we use for the store. She found these are all sale items, so I'm not sure if the toothpaste was or not, but I know the shampoo was, and I know these two toothbrushes were. These are for her. Mine are not on sale anymore, so she didn't buy them right now. And she got two more uh, drink mix. These are basically for the store, and uh, they're just going on the shelf. This is the kind she drinks. And of course, We've got two more cases of water. Uh, we have, like the month of August, started out roaringly hot, extremely hot, so water was impossible to get. So we used up pretty much all that we had on hand, so we were getting scarily close. So I'm trying to build that back up a little bit. And the weather for today is calling for a lot of heat, so tomorrow, weekends, not so much water use, but if it's hot through the work week, it will fly off the shelves so anyway just stay tuned so that's what we got as I said I'm gonna make a few changes I have to to make room to accommodate some of this stuff uh, I think I'll show you I've made a few changes in there and we have another shelf out here so maybe I'll just give you a quick look and it's going well. Our pantry's going well. The app is working well. The only problem we've had with it so far is sometimes it's a little hard to find. It it puts the stuff when we input it, like the cornmeal, went right in with the flour. So it took Michelle a second to find it. She wanted to to find it again. So anyway, but we're learning to navigate it. It tells us when stuff is going to expire. The only thing about it, when you put the expiry date in and then you shove something in the freezer, it'll come out and tell you that it's expiring like in a week and a half or two weeks or I guess I seen one item there the other day it said it's going to expire in six weeks so uh, but things that were freezing obviously you're not as concerned about that uh, so I plan to show you a little bit of that if you've watched any of my videos you know I'm dieting I have achieved my first goal and that makes me feel happy uh, I've got a long ways to go yet but anyway I'll, uh, I'm gonna make a video I said when I reached my first goal I was gonna make a pie so I and I said to Michelle don't know whether I should do that or not but what we kind of decided I could do is make it uh, eat a piece freeze the rest so that's probably what I'm gonna do so if I do that I'll make a quick video of that and also our daughter is coming home from school. She'd been in Ontario this last year, finishing up her master's. And now it seems hard to believe that uh, she's done that well. We're quite proud of her. But she's coming home anyway. They have rented an apartment across the river, but we're kind of staging things here. And I've got to go this afternoon and pick up a bunch of stuff. We've got stuff over there. You know, our apartment is small, so it kind of looks cluttered over there. But it's only going to be there for another week or so until September anyway. And as I said, the stuff that I go pick up for her today will be here as well. So, anyway, that's just what we're up to. So, if you're watching, thank you very much. I think there will be a little bit more of this video, so stay tuned for that. Okay, Michelle reminded me that I didn't really show this shelf at all. This is pasta in this row, right? All these pastas and the craft dinner and then there's a 
box of this pasta salad up here. But this is all spaghetti, pretty much. See, there's bags of spaghetti back there and three boxes. Now I see I have a little bit of space there that I can fill with something. And uh, this is an open bag of, of uh, what's it called here? Anyway, it's the spirally stuff. We'll just call it spirally stuff. How about that? Tortellini. And I apologize to anybody who can speak Italian because I can't very much, really, obviously. And lasagna noodles and that uh, Lipton soup here, the family size packs. And then sidekicks back in there is more like macaroni noodles and stuff like that, right? And here is peanut butter. I've got, this is our using this dirty, I apologize. Peanut butter there, the sidekicks. Obviously didn't wipe that off the last time I used it. And then uh, scalloped potatoes and shake and bake, different kinds of shake and bake back in there. And then some more baking type stuff and uh, what they call press and seal and that's spinach that's green onions in that jar so some cookies snack cookies and a mr noodle soup cup there's only one of them left that's spicy chicken very good stuff craft peanut butter here which is not my favorite and honey so that's the shelf that I forgot to show you and there is a lot of stuff on it too so at any rate this is uh, tomatoes tomato paste beans peas corn green beans I've got a can of olives here over to here is pinto beans this is it would be nice if I had one whole shelf just for these items that are on 55% of this shelf. But it's purely a space issue. It really is. And down here, you see, I have tomato paste. And it really should be with the tomatoes. It falls in that category, right? But, once again, as I said, space issue. I apologize, the dryer is running right behind us here, right behind me, and uh, you can hear that, but like, like, this is all instant mashed potatoes, even that up there. I had to take another row here to put these in, back in there, you'll see I've got stove top stuffing, there's three more boxes back there, and here just I've got my dryer sheets just simply because the dryer is right behind me and it's really convenient to just turn around now all of that is the dainty rice there's quite a few boxes of it in there and up there paper plates we have more but uh, Michelle often likes to use paper plates especially when I'm not home she hasn't been using them but what I gotta do is take a few and put them in the cupboard with regular plates. We have these Mr. Noodle soups here, and I'm gonna show you this over here, and I'm, I apologize in advance for the, what I call the rip and zip video. I'll try not to do that too much. I put our mustard over here. This is a second shelf, and this cereal here. I put those cereals while I love both kinds, they're more or less for baking at this point. And I put this one here and this Captain Crunch, believe it or not, I've been taking a small bag of them in my lunch with me to eat and I, I for a snack, right? And I come over here to show you, we've got two cases of Mr. Noodles here, beef and chicken. Pretty much the same as what's over there. And this right here is the jams we've made so far. Now I think next weekend we're gonna make grape jelly or grape jam. So it can set there, it's safe to set them or stack them too high apparently. So down here, I've got spaghetti sauces. Obviously here, ketchups. Now, Michelle and I are not drinkers. 
we don't have any, you know, I don't have any issue with anybody that does want to drink. Obviously, that's up to each individual. But this bottle of liquor we actually bought, Michelle wants to make French onion soup sometime. And that is a brandy, I guess. That's what I, I went to the liquor store and asked them and that's what they gave me. And that's to make French onion soup. And it will get done at some point. So down there, as I said, that's our, our um, deep fryer, which we don't use very often because it's not the most healthy thing. We have more paper plates and a big bag of rice. <coughs> Excuse me. And I've got a little stash of water here. As I said, we couldn't get water for two or three weeks, and I drank pretty near all of it right up. Or Michelle drank some too. But So I had to move the mayonnaise over here. I've got coffee there and canned potatoes sandwich sauce salt these are asparagus in cans canned meats there canned meats there tuna there sauces right and soups and like chef boyardee stuff mini ravioli ravioli etc etc so as i said and then i got my laundry soaps there dry beans there, soup stock. Down on the bottom shelf is fabric softener, dog treats, and I've got some coffee and, and some baking stuff back in there. I'm, as I said, I need a little more space. And our apartment is very small. So right now, I'm making do with what I got. So at any rate, I just thought I'd show you that. Top shelf up there is basically just stuff stored this is her sewing machine box obviously her mixer is there and I've got some winter clothes and whatnot in them totes I've got to go through some stuff I've got to make some more room but at any rate I just thought I would show you that this is where we're at right now Michelle is pleased and that's what makes me happy so I will show you the other shelf we have stay tuned Okay, so up there is just the air fryer and the bread maker and a cast iron frying pan. I don't use that as much as I should because it's kind of out of sight, right? This shelf here, applesauce. I love applesauce. Michelle cannot stand it. I'm the only one that eats it, and I usually take one of these in my lunch each day. She got some wafer, sugar wafer cookies. They're very good, but they're not open yet. We haven't been eating them. As you can see back in there, some potato chips and stuff. I'll just show you over here. I've got an extra package of coffee filters and the sweetener I use. Two of them sitting there. And you know, them boxes are a little different. Heh. <laughs> I say that for a reason because it freaks me out. OCD. Now I've just got, um, I think that's onion powder back there. Yeah, onion powder chopped dried onions you've seen all this stuff before but that's on this shelf some spices there some biscuit mixes for when you want to have biscuits in like 18 minutes you can do that this is for cooking and then as we move down here we get into baking so honey and cornstarch and baking powder and all that stuff there condensed sweetened milk and molasses back in there cocoa powder ah that is yeast maple syrups mandarin oranges evaporated milk coconut sweetened and unsweetened uh, butterscotch chips chocolate chips and then down there so those ones we bought this morning the vegan ones cake mixes and flours sugar pumpkin pie filling and one strawberry pie filling and then brown sugars powdered sugar this is the cornmeal marshmallows flowers down there is two five kilogram jugs of molasses we've got quick oats vinegar more vinegar back there apple cider vinegar and then white vinegar apple juice here that's a jug of dishwashing or dishwasher washing soap 
for the hand washing and that juice we're gonna make apple jelly out of that and I'll make a video of that when we get ready to do it but that's the baking shelf and as you can see it's getting pretty full too so anyway I might get another one of them shelves at some point I'm not exactly sure where I put it but I just might so anyway I am back in there some sugar and I have a couple of rather large containers of sugar in another spot but that's for another day so if you've watched this far thank you very much uh, maybe I should do a video on small spaces but I guess I'm no expert am I but anyway thank you for watching it's Kevin the homemaker husband saying bye for now have a good day